Hey guys, and welcome back to another short video. And today I'm just going to be showing the reaction between nitrile gloves and highly concentrated nitric acid. So these uh, nitrile gloves were just purchased from Costco, and um, I use them all the time in uh, all the experiments I do, and they work excellent. I've never had anything go wrong with them. But this video is about why you should never wear them with highly concentrated nitric acid. And I'll show you exactly why. And any gloves such as latex or vinyl, or nitrile of course, will all have very similar reactions. You never want to wear gloves unless they're specifically designed to withstand highly concentrated nitric acid. And highly concentrated nitric acid, this stuff we made in a previous video from sulfuric acid and a nitrate salt, and um, this is between 90 and 95 percent pure. And uh, you can see that it's actually discolored because it's um, actually decomposing into nitrogen dioxide gas. Now this stuff, if you get it on your skin, will cause second or third degree burns within a few moments. So I do have a bucket of water off camera just in case I get some on my hands. Um, but you're going to get far worse results if you wear gloves, which is why we don't want to do this. Now this stuff finds its uses in liquid, liquid fuel rocket propellants um, via the reaction with kerosene. Um, and also in the nitration of compounds such as making high nitrated explosives like TNT and uh, nitroglycerin and lots of other things. Um, so it's really reactive. We have to be careful. So just have a pipette and we'll just take one milliliter of this stuff and um, drop it onto these gloves. So pull up about a milliliter. That's probably about a milliliter there. And uh, we'll just drop it on these. Now note the vigorous reaction that's going to be happening. You see immediately they burst into flames, this violent exothermic reaction happens. And if you had that on your hands, you would not be feeling very good. That would really hurt a lot. Um, so that's why it's extremely um, important that you never get this stuff on your hands. But even so, with gloves, you'd be far worse off. You'd have burning rubber on your hands. So. This is just a quick demonstration to show why you never, ever, ever want to wear lab gloves unless they are specifically designed to withstand the highly concentrated acid, um, but never wear them while you're dealing with highly concentrated acid. Anyhow, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the future. Wait, bye.